guys, check it out. We are going to talk about why we use Buy It Now listings on eBay more than we use auction style listings on eBay. Our flip of the week this week was a $425 flip. <laughs> and we use Buy It Now and we'll talk about why. That's right. It's sitting right behind us. But first, guys, we use probably 95% of our listings, maybe even a little bit more. We do it with Buy It Now prices. And the reason we do Buy It Now is because the majority of people who find these items cannot find it within the seven or the 10 day listing um, period of an auction style uh, uh, auction style listing. So when you set your price at what it's worth, and I did the comps on this before we listed it, so I knew what some other ones had sold for. So I knew I had a good idea what it was worth, but had we done this, um, and I'll show it to you, had we done this duck, it's a Mandarin duck, um, really, really beautiful duck that we actually, uh, we found at the Goodwill. For $10. We, we paid 10 bucks for this bad boy. And then we sold it for $425 and we sold it in, what was it? Two weeks? Uh, yeah. Two Roughly weeks. two weeks we sold it. Now, if I would have done an auction style listing on this, chances are this duck probably would have went for a hundred bucks, $110, something like that, which is great. It's a great markup, but the comps showed that it would sell for between four and five hundred dollars. I listed it for four ninety nine. I got a guy going back and forth with me. He offered, really wanted it. <laughs> offered me four twenty five for it. I tried to get him into one, a four fifty, and he wouldn't do it. He said I really need to be at four four twenty five. So I was like, I got great profit on this. I'm going to sell for four twenty five. So we sold it. So that is our flip of the week, and that is one of the reasons why we use the buy it now prices. If we hadn't done that, we might have only got a hundred bucks on this thing. A hundred, hundred, you know, one hundred ten dollars, something like that. Um, it's a collector item. There's only probably a couple people who are really looking for it. It is. So. And it was in our favor because of there was only all the other Mandarin ducks on there right now. None oh, yeah. of them compared to this. This is absolutely a gorgeous and it Mandarin had a duck. Case. Like the other ones didn't have a case. So that exactly. Was something extra to so go for it. anyways, once somebody found it, they absolutely loved it and they went for it and they paid $425 for this. So amazing, amazing flip. We absolutely love that. But we don't always discount um, auction style listings as well because I have something else that I just did. Uh, last night, we actually put this up and we bought this from a different thrift store. I think I paid $10 for it, put it up for uh, $10 as a starting price on it with $10 shipping. Um, and so you're not going to lose any money. No, pretty quickly we got uh, up to $13. So it's at $13 and it's a 10 day auction. So uh, within the first 24 hours, I think it went to $13. Um, it will make money for sure. It probably will go up to $30 to $50, something like that. Um, we actually bought two of these. But the reason that I did that is we have been kind of stagnant with our sales uh, for the last two months. We have not posted a lot of stuff um, and because we've had other family stuff going on and I haven't been able to run the business as much as I wanted to. Um, so anyways, we got these things done and I posted a couple auction style listings to get the algorithms get of eBay going. exactly up and get some sales in and get some sales in and check it out. We sold this right after I posted that. So it's one of those things that when you're posting and when you're on eBay um, more like regularly, the they love it. And then that's when you start selling things. So uh, that's how we do it but the biggest point is is if you have good items that you can ask more money for because the comps allow it then don't do an auction style listing on those right. unless they are super hot items that you have a lot of people that are looking for those items so right. this we didn't have a lot of people looking for it um so that's one of the reasons why we did the buy it now and i knew what i could sell it for so I just make sure your prices are competitive that's um, it. and one thing also is we can price a little bit higher of the like because your comps are going to be a range so if you're a very new seller you're going to have to be in the lower end of that range yes. but if you're a an established so you can be at the high end of that range and ask that higher comp. So that's where building that feedback up really helps. That's right. It so. is all to do with the feedback. We have 100% feedback and I think four, four, or 500 feedback. So we have a lot of feedback of good sales and high dollar sales. Uh, so that is so one that of the, helps a lot. it is, it is a great point to be able to build your feedback up. So people know you're a legit seller and they see you have um, history of selling on eBay. So. All right. Time to get that shipped out. That's right. Guys, check it out. We just launched the dollar flip club. If you have not signed up for the dollar flip club, you do not want to miss it. Jump in there. Register for it, guys. We're going to give you seven videos over the next seven days to help you make your first $100 in flipping. In seven days. That's it. So you don't Thanks want to miss out. Guys. Melissa will put the link below. Jump in there. Check it out. See if it's what you like. And we will talk to you soon. All right. See ya. Bye.